All right, you guys, what the fuck's going on with it? It's your boy, Eat That Pussy 445. Uh, my top five guns that I own. You know, now before I get into this video, again, I want to, you know, reiterate this. I cannot fucking tell you guys this shit enough. Firearm safety should always be your number one top priority, um, especially when handling fucking guns. You know, um, you can never be too safe. You know what I mean? You always want to make sure, you know, when you're fucking storing your goddamn gun, make sure that motherfucking chamber is empty. Make sure that motherfucker is on safe. And you always treat a goddamn firearm as if it's loaded at all fucking times. You know what I mean? Something else I want to mention before I get into my top five guns that I own here is that, you know, all of these fucking guns, of course, like I told you guys before, is 100% total California compliant. You know what I mean? And if you guys own guns, you always want to make sure that your firearms are, you know, um, state compliant. You always want to follow the fucking law. You know what I mean? Um, last thing I want is for motherfuckers to get locked up for doing dumbass fucking shit and then not taking the time out to do the research, you know, and knowing what their, you know, knowing what the gun laws are in their particular state. Now, of course, I live in gay ass, stupid, dumb fucking California where, you know, it's a democratic state and you got motherfuckers crying with their bleeding ass fucking tampons and shit. You know what I mean? Um, probably get fucked up in the ass on a daily nigga by a fucking dildo and shit. Nigga that they buy from the fucking sex shop and shit. Crying like motherfucking bitches and shit. Oh my God, he has a gun. Ah! You know what I mean? Like just, you know, it's fucking stupid. Something else I want to mention is, listen, man. There's been a t there's there, there's been a couple dumbass ignorant motherfuckers on my Instagram leaving stupid fucking comments, you know, upon this fucking bullshit, you know, every time I post a fucking gun or whatever, you know what I mean, or or I'm at the firing range having a good time, you know, because it's a hobby of mine. Motherfuckers, oh, he's about to go shoot up the Eagles Novacare complex. He's about to go fucking use Doug Peterson, Howie Roseman, and Carson Wentz as fucking target practice. You motherfuckers should be banned off off the motherfucking internet. You guys are fucking stupid ass, dumb, ignorant motherfuckers. And people like you are what make responsible gun owners like myself fucking look bad. You know what I mean? Shit like that is the exact reason why, you know, motherfuckers get scared, nigga, and they fucking bleed from their tampons every time somebody, you know... Um, has a gun case and they're going to the fucking firing range. Motherfuckers cry like little bitches and shit. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers like you are the reason why, you know, guns get a bad fucking name. You know what I mean? Stupid as fuck. Anyway, let's get on in and jump on into it. Um, number one, um, I've never been a Glock person. I'll be the first person to admit that. I don't fucking like Glocks. I feel like Glocks are just like, there's too much shit that you have to learn with a fucking Glock. You know, like the fucking trigger is curved like a motherfucker. It's not really fucking accurate, or at least for me, it's like what I'm aiming at and what I'm hitting has to be on par. I don't fucking feel like wrestling with a fucking gun and fucking having to sit back and dissect all this fucking bullshit. I just don't fuck with Glocks. Glocks just aren't my fucking cup of tea. For me, I'm more of a 1911 type of guy, you know? Um, I showed you guys this gun already. This is your um, Kimber 45 ACP 1911. You know what I mean? Gun's gangster as fuck. Make sure that barrel is empty. Make sure there's nothing up in that fucking chamber. Well, you guys know what I mean. Barrel's empty. Make sure there's nothing up in the chamber. Good fucking shit. Uh, it's a badass fucking gun. I'm a huge fan, you know, um, these things are accurate as fuck, you know, gangster ass fucking gun, good shit. Now, I have two of them, I just picked this one up, this is a stainless steel uh, Springfield Armory 1911 A1, you guys can see that, this gun is dope as fuck, little different, you know what I mean, um, it's a real fucking... It's a real fucking bitch to take this gun apart and to clean this motherfucker. It was total, it was total fucking hell. But um, yeah, Springfield Armory 1911 A1 TRP Tactical. 
45 caliber. It's a bad motherfucking gun. And um, 1911, 1911s in total is my shit. I love these fucking guns. So fucking beautiful, man. I, I love 1911s. This is badass fucking shit, man. Um, <sighs> love it. Anyways, moving on. So we got 1911s. Um, next up, I'll show you my shotgun. You guys already know this shotgun. I showed you guys this one before. This is your um, SLP self-loading police. This is your um, FNH SLP MK1. Takes uh, seven rounds, right? Make sure that fucking barrel, make sure that chamber is empty. Make sure there's nothing up in that bitch. Gangster ass fucking shotgun, semi-automatic. You know what I mean? Got those fucking three inch fucking shells right there. Dope as fuck. Buckshot. It's a dope ass fucking gun, man. I've always been a huge fan of um, FNH. They make some good ass fucking shit, man. Um, not really ideal for a self-defense shotgun because this motherfucker's like a... I'm not sure if this is like... I think this is like a 22 inch barrel. I'm not sure, but uh, I don't think it's 22 inches. Maybe 18 up and a half. I think it's 22, but badass fucking uh, shotgun. Not really ideal for um, for self defense, but I mean, hey, motherfucker, <laughs> you know, if this is all you fucking have, nigga, you grab this bitch, my nigga, and somebody's coming in, man, you lay the fucking hurt down, my nigga, you feel me? Um, somebody breaking up in your fucking house and shit, you know, self-defense, you know, this is definitely the fucking shotgun that's going to lay the fucking law down. Again, not really ideal because it has a longer barrel. You more so want to go with something that's 18 or 18 up and a half, but, um, good ass motherfucking shotgun. Fuck with this shit heavy. This is my, one of my favorite fucking guns that I, that I own. Obviously, this is a bad motherfucker right here, man. FNH SLP MK1 shotgun. This motherfucker lays the law down, man. I love this fucking bitch. So that's that. Now, next gun I haven't showed you guys. This is a AR-10 DMR chambered in 7.62 by 7.62 by 51, 308. Uh, after 7.62 NATO round. It's a bad motherfucker, man. Let me show you guys this bitch. <sighs> this motherfucker got that Vortex sight on there, man. You feel me? 